the Mars 6 lander continued sending data as it descended until it was, quote, in direct proximity with the surface. The only spacecraft in orbit around Mars at the time of the Pathfinder landing was the Mars Global Surveyor. Because the day on Mars lasts about 25 hours and the Surveyor orbited every 45 hours, it wouldn't have been possible for this one satellite to relay the signal. We know that there is no way one could land on Mars with the aid of a parachute. It would be like trying to land the shuttle on the moon where there is no air to make it glide. Now it seems, like the Phoenix, the Mars landing hoax has arisen from the ashes. By NASA's own admission, the new 670 kilogram Phoenix lander is due to land on the Martian North Pole, yet again, with the aid of a parachute. As we are told in NASA's own press kit, this 39 meter diameter chute will deploy when Phoenix drops to an altitude of 12.6 kilometers. This is just under half the height of Olympus Mons, where the air pressure is 0.0043 pounds per square inch. Just can't be done. You can't use a parachute at high altitudes. It will not fill, and if it did fill, it wouldn't carry. It wouldn't hold any weight back. You fall like that feather does in a vacuum chamber. As Abraham Lincoln rightly put it, you can fool all the people some of the time, and some of the people all of the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. When he began his investigation, René tried very hard to believe that only the Apollo missions and Gemini missions were faked. Now we both know, a proven liar can never be trusted.
left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. The gloves were built that they couldn't grip anything smaller than about an inch. They, they had very bad feeling on the fingertips. Hopefully, they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? They couldn't grip anything smaller than about an inch.